By now, everybody knows that Lisa the Flam of CTV was axed. And many, many people are upset. When Lloyd Robertson was her predecessor, and he was not axed, he was retired, and he was, I think, you know, 12 or 13 years older than Lisa when he was retired, he was still on the payroll, and he was still brought in for a lots of news issues and items. And he was given all kinds of deference by the owners of CTV at that time. Lisa Laflam was not allowed to say goodbye to her viewers on TV after 35 years of CTV. She was unceremoniously just dumped out. And she's a woman, and she's a woman in her 50s. And there's no cause given by CTV. She didn't do anything wrong. In fact, you go through the Twitter, you go through all the comments across Canada, the journalists, her fans, they say that she is fabulous. I've known Lisa LaFlam for 25, 30 years. She is fabulous. She was a great journalist, and she was a great anchor for CTV. So what's going on with CTV? They said, well, it's for a business reason. Is it because during COVID, she let her hair go to its natural color, which is a beautiful white and gray, and she looks fabulous? Is it because somebody at CTV says, well, you know what, she's a little strong for a woman. And I don't like that she defends all the people on air with her. And I just think that we have to get rid of her because she is a strong-willed, smart woman. Or is it because they just want to have somebody who is younger? I don't know. Omar Sajidina, who's replacing her, who I've also known for a number of years, is a very fine person and a good journalist. And they have put him in a bad position because he is now taking over from Lisa under a cloud. The way those ham-fisted executives have made such a cock-up of this is not only terrible for them and for Lisa, but for their hand-picked successor, Omar Sachedina. He is starting out under such a, a gray spot that's going to be very tough for him to exist as a respected anchor of CTV. So maybe what it comes down to is what I've been saying on this show for quite some time, is that the established news services and the executives, they're going to say, well, we want the younger audience. And to those executives, I say, you yeah, screwed this one up. You've screwed other ones up. And it's no wonder why people go to shows such as this for analysis and for some news. Thank you. If you did not know that the Red Ensign, formerly Canada's flag, has now been labeled by the Canadian government a symbol of hate, and they're sending that to all the students, then press subscribe and PayPal and learn more.